Hi all, Ian here. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use a MASH falloff node without a MASH network. So we're going to use it to power the components going into a modeling tool, so say delete or extrude or bridge or whatever, um, and also how to use it to set a vertex or face colors on a mesh. And uh, so what I've got here is I have a plane and I've got a load of divisions in the plane. And so if I graph this in the node editor, um, the way that we do this is uh, to create our own history, our own mesh history. And then we uh, we can put the uh, mesh falloff object, uh, we can kind of uh, inject it into the history and use it to, well, uh, for various effects. So I'll just show you how that's done. Uh, so I'm going to create a falloff object. So I just hit tab, type falloff and hit return. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to very lazily create my own history. So I'm just going to duplicate the um, <laughs> the mesh. Uh, auto layout is really rubbish in the node editor and then I'm going to um, take the uh, out mesh the world mesh from the uh, plane shape here and I'm going to put it into uh, the meshes uh, fall off in and then I'm going to take the fall off out and I'm going to plug that into the in mesh of plane number two so currently we have two planes visible in the viewport in the same space I don't want that so I'm going to select my first plane here and then in the shape and then in object display, I'm going to turn on intermediate object, which is just going to hide it from the outliner and from uh, the viewport. So uh, now we've only got one plane visible on the viewport and I'm going to turn on uh, display attribute colors, which is going to give us this. So um, we are affecting our um, uh, vertex colors on our object uh, with a fall off node. So this can also be face colors if you want to, uh, like so. Um, and you can change your color if you want to, to something uh, slightly less garish. Uh, there you go. And then you've got obviously all of the other settings on the uh, on the fall off node and you can choose your various different shapes and uh, modes and all that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, uh, do what you do. So that's it, that's quite simple. Um, and um, what I'm going to do here is because I am um, because um, what I'm going to do next is um, what am I going to do next? Oh, that's right. I'm going to show you um, how to use this for component selections. So I'm just going to delete the fall off node. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe the mesh out of the first plane and into the second plane. Um, so we're kind of we're kind of back to our starting point. Only there's kind of like an extra plane in the way, um, and the reason I've done that is so that if I select a face and hit delete, um, I get this delete component node uh, shoved into the middle, and I can use a fall off object to control which components get deleted. So if I create a fall off node again, like so, and then uh, just set it up in the same way. So I'm going to take the world mesh out of. Sorry. I'm going to take the world mesh out of the uh, plane and I'm going to pipe it into the fall off in just so that the fall off node uh, knows what positions it's comparing against. And then I'm going to go fall off out, fall off out into delete components. And then uh, you see nothing's happened. And the reason nothing's happened is because the delete component was is for faces. I've um, deleted a face here and uh, the um, fall off shape is set to vertex currently. So if I swap that over to face, see uh, if I, I just if I, um, <clears throat> uh, the inner zone here is um, rounding values. So <clears throat> anywhere that's got a value, a strength of over half is being saved and any that's got a strength below half is, um, is being deleted. So if I just change that to one, that just makes it simpler to understand what's going on. So I can uh, delete faces, so I can move the full of object through a mesh and yeah, delete the faces to, uh, to my heart's content. Um, and of course the um, other modes, so if I was to, uh, on the full of object, if I was to hit um, add mode and then kind of drag this through the mesh, bits of the mesh would disappear and then reappear. Um, or we can just have this normal mode and then of course you can just carry on with your modeling as normal so we can do an extrude if you want to and then carry on and um, yeah uh, yeah and that's that uh, in fact actually I think what you want to do if you're going to do an extrude is extrude the whole mesh so make sure the fall off's not deleting anything and then then you can bring the fall off back in like so if you want to and yeah that's um 
that's that. That's how to use the falloff node to control component selections and how to control um, face colors, inverted colors. Uh, yep, hope you find that useful.